Hello everyone. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to um, use an Xbox 360 controller with a PC. Um, right away, the reason I'm doing this is I want to be able to play games with PC graphics and its, you know, ability as well as a controller. So, um... I'm mostly a PC user, but occasionally I like using a, ma uh, a controller instead of a mouse and keyboard. Um, the reason I'm doing this is I want to play Borderlands 2 on my TV with an Xbox controller, but it's being, it's being streamed through my laptop that you see behind me. Um, so what you need is an Xbox controller and a... Microsoft made wireless receiver for Xbox controllers. Um, you can get these for about 20 bucks on Amazon and basically what it does is allows a wireless transmission to be sent from this or from the controller to this and your PC will interpret it and um, give it control. So go ahead and set that back there. Uh, from here basically uh, what you need to do is the contents of the package once ordered from Amazon and you receive it. You may be able to find them in some Walmarts or Best Buys, but I had to order it online to get it. What it's going to come with is the disc, quick installation, and warranty information. So once you have all that, you need to install the disc um, that it comes with for the drivers. Basically, it takes about two minutes and all it's doing is installing drivers to um, receive the controller so as proof I'm actually using a controller that has no battery pack uh, after that it's gonna ask you to restart your computer so prompt it to restart um, once it's restarted you need to just plug the receiver into the computer and then I'm going to have to use a wire for the, the controller because I don't have a battery pack. So, uh, uh, in addition to that, let me show you what I have going on over here. So, over here, I have my laptop hooked up via HDMI to my TV and the cord for the uh, Xbox. Here in a second, I'll have the wireless receiver hooked up. And we will continue from there. Alright guys, so as you can see, everything's hooked up and ready to go. I've got my controller hooked up with a one player on it. The wireless receiver is receiving with a green light. And the laptop is hooked up to the TV. Alright guys, so everything's set up and ready to go. All we have to do now is go to Devices and Printers. You'll see that the controller and the receiver are there and detected. So you can check the controller and make sure everything's working by going to properties. Alright, you can see I have full range of motion. Everything's working up, down, left, right. Triggers. Bumpers. Everything's working. All the buttons are good to go. So click OK. OK on that. Close out of that. You'll start up Steam. I already have it going. And click big picture mode and it'll start up. should see this work flawlessly so after I'm gone have full control of everything and you can easily send messages standards. to people even all going over quick satellites. just to show you you can join their games and that's the typing method is really easy it's just moving the controller around to whatever you want to type and then just pressing the button for it it's really quick and smooth so now I'll go back and you can even buy your games from the store um, so for this demo I'm going to use Borderlands 2 like I said I'll launch it, it comes up. Normally I'd have to use the mouse for this, but I can use the controller. Play. Alright, everything's up and running, so... Cursor should go away in just a second. Go ahead and move it just to be safe. Skip all that nonsense. The whole point of me doing this is to show you guys that it actually recognizes that I'm using a controller instead of a mouse and keyboard. 
and uh, show you that everything works just as flawless with using a uh, mouse and keyboard as it does with the controller. So, click continue. Alright, left, right, up, down, sprinting, grenades. Crouch, switch weapon, jump. So as you guys can see, everything looks pretty good. Um, I'm getting the added benefit of PC visuals and uh, just using a console controller for it all. It's a pretty neat little system for you know 15, 20 bucks. Um, and that's pretty much all I have. Thanks for watching, guys.